These kinds of little games, like, like this, that are just practice, are great ways to practice. If you don't have other people to practice with, or, or you just have one or two, you guys can put things in envelopes or in boxes, and what is, what's in this today? They're great ways to, to, to practice. When my kids were young, um, little, two and, and, and nine, or, or ten, I would take um, poker chips, red, blue, and white poker chips, and I would grab one and I would put it, I would look at it so I knew what color it was so I could send it to them um, intuitively as well and telepathically. And so I'd put it behind my back and I'd say, okay, now tune into this and tell me which color it was. My older son um, never missed. I mean, I did this a lot. I taught kids classes um, back then too. He never missed when I knew the color too. So when I tuned into it and I could send it to him between between me holding it and sending it to him, he always got it right. It was remarkable, actually. Um, you know, flipping a coin. Not guess which side, but in, flip it and then intuit. Just little things like that. What, what color shirt your teacher going to have on when you get to school? Or what color is your boss going to have on when you get to work? Or um, what time exactly is the mailman going to come? Or, you know, things like that that just make it, so you start to make it a game almost. Um, you start to play, and um, and that makes it um, that makes it fun, and it makes it, it it makes your vibration go up, and makes it a little lighthearted. 